Okay, I've got a Backtrack virtual machine here, and I'm running VMware Player, and I'm going to run it. So I'll select it and press play, and we'll see how it functions. We'll see if it um, if it functions well. Let's see if my Windows Vista install here can handle it. Okay, we're still going through the uh, the boot process of this Backtrack VM. And hopefully we'll get a login screen here shortly. Okay, there's our login screen. So I'll click into the VMware player, type in root, then type in my password, and hit enter. And now I've got a root shell. If uh, earlier I changed the password, uh, the default for Backtrack, when you first uh, run Backtrack 4, the user is root and then the password is tour, T-O-O-R, and you're going to need to change that right away. To do that, you type in P-A-S-S-W-D, or pass W-D, hit enter, and you can change your password. Okay, um, I already did that, so I'm not going to do it again. All right, I have a new password, and now I'm going to start X Windows to start the gra graphical user interface. So I'll hit that, and we should get a graphical user interface shortly. Okay, I've got the graphical user interface. If you want, you can use um, download VMware tools, which is something that um, uh, install VMware tools that I installed. It was uh, you can see here the remnants from the VMware tool installation. What I want to do though, now that I have Backtrack running in a uh, VM in VMware player, is I want to make sure that my network interfaces are up and I can get online. So I'm going to open up a root terminal. All right, there it is. Let's drag this down here. Okay, and I will take a look at our network interfaces. And if you do an if config, you'll see that you only see a, a loopback interface. And that's not right. Um, I'm using a laptop here. It's got a wireless card. It's also got an Ethernet card. So I should see like an ETH0 or a wireless LAN0. But this is a virtual machine here, right? So it's not my laptop. It's a virtual machine running within my laptop. So what you can do here with this is if you needed to, you could play around with the settings on your NIC. Uh, my network adapter is set to connect on power on and it's bridged and it's supposed to replicate the physical network connection state, right? So, but as you can see, it doesn't even really see the correct interfaces. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to say if config eth0 and just put that up. All right. So, we do that and then type if config. And you can see now it sees the Ethernet Zero interface. So I'm wondering if I run my DHCP client, if I can actually get an IP address through this kind of virtual operating system connecting through my laptop to the network. So I'll type in if, now I'll type in DH client ETH Zero and hit enter. And we can see here this is the DHCP client launching and looks like it's asking for an IP address and looks like it got one. So now if I want to ping www.yahoo.com I should get a response and I do because the nice thing about that DH client, DHCP client is by doing that I also got a gateway address and I got uh, DNS server uh, addresses so I'm up and running now.